Oh, thank you, Sydney. Our next performers will be two actors performing a scene from John Hubert's Fortune in a Men's Eye. From New York City, portraying Smitty is Larry B. Scott, and from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, is John McCoy. Please welcome them. That guard's ulcer's gonna kill him before he gets a chance to sit home in his rocking chair and collect his pension. Yeah, he sure did look sick when he went out. He is sick, and he makes me sick. You know, you ain't so smart, Smitty. How come? Fruits always get you in the deep crap. I don't know, I never knew any before. You ain't been around. No, I guess not. They'll screw you up every time. How? They're phonies. Godless. They're all famous. You sound like you've had experience with them before. An overdose. But not anymore. Let me tell you, they was all running after old Rocky. Wanted me to be their boy. But I latched onto this homo first to make myself a fast buck. Took him for everything he had, almost. Homo? Fag. Oh, queer. More money than bloody brains. Old man was crazy about me. Race horses, stock exchange, the whole bit. And I took some cunning, but I finally got in solid. Weekly allowance, swell apartment, lots of booze, and cash, and a Cadillac convertible. All yours? Except the caddy. You see, I was browsed off with this freak and split. Split in the caddy with a wad would have choked an elephant. Man, I was living hot. Oh, your money run out? Hell no. When you got it, you got it. You see, this fruit had enough brass to call in the cops and have me taken in for picking up the caddy. Oh, because it wasn't yours. What I take is mine. That's my motto. Anyway... She had the car kept in her name so she could screw me up when the time came. So he, she pressed the charge? Hell no, man. She just wanted me back for herself. But I'm going to fix her. And when I do, she won't be able to cruise no more little boys for a while except out a window or on a stretcher or something. Yeah, but, but if you do that, maybe they'll send you back again. You sure are done. After you do a job like I'm going to do to somebody, they're scared crapless, willing to give you both sides of the street. <laughs> you know, Smitty, I can make a real smart guy out of you. I don't know too much. You learn, kid. You learn. How do you mean? Well, you got to have a buddy, you see. You can't make friends with all those chums in here. Especially no fruits. I don't want nobody to think I'm queer. Good. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> nobody stops this boy. You know, you sit and duck for a gang splash if you ain't got an old man. I'm uh, offering to be your old man. If you're wise, you think fast. Would it keep well, me? what do you say? Would it keep me from a, a, a gang splash? You wouldn't want all those goons to jump on you now, would you? No, for God's sake, no. I... Then am I your old man? Y you mean like, like a buddy? Yeah, sure. That's the score. And I'll kill any son of a bitch lays a hand on me. Okay, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Me and you're gonna get along together just fine. Just fine. Sure. 
sure we will, Rocky. So, um, what say me and you take a shower before it lights out, baby? A shower? Oh, yeah. I like one every night before it lights out. Go ahead. I had one this morning when they brought me in and gave me a uniform. Well, another one ain't gonna kill you. Besides, I like them. Tomorrow, Rocky. Right now. No thanks. I like my kids clean. I'm clean. What? Move your ass into that shower room. Rocky, you, you're not... No. Move your ass, boy. No, I changed my mind. I don't want an old man. Well, you've got an old man, and that's better than a storeroom, buddy boy. Yeah, well, I take a chance. Oh. <laughs> I'll make sure you have no chance. It's me or a storeroom or a gang splash. Now move your ass fast. Rocky, please. If you like me. Rocky, please. If you like me. I like you. And you're gonna like me. You guys do like one another by now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me. I like him and he likes me. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Tell me something. What inspired you guys to both go into acting? Well, what? I don't know what inspired him, but... Well, I guess ever since I was small, I've always been the best imitator in my family. I can imitate Kunta Kinte. He was related to me, too. Oh, yeah, I'm Him sure. and the warriors and stuff. So that was my job, getting in front of the family and imitating people that were our relatives. And I could imitate anybody. Uncle Harold, Aunt Betty, Uncle Susie. Okay, Uncle what, Susie. What, what uncle are you imitating when you're on stage? I don't know. I just enjoy the art. How long have you been in it? Six years. Six years? You both plan to make successful careers out of this? Yes. Okay, well, that's good. Okay, we we all enjoy. Do we all enjoy, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, that was very nice. We're going to turn into a brief commercial message right now, okay? But well, we'll be back. <laughs>